GOES, the Geostationary Operational Environmental Satellite. Since 1975, these NOAA weather eyes in the sky have provided day and night cloud images while spinning in a near stationary position over the equator. National Weather Service meteorologists depend on the GOES satellite's 22,300 mile vantage point in space to warn the public of developing severe storms and approaching hurricanes, saving lives and property through increased forecast accuracy. The second in a series of advanced GOES satellites will launch from Cape Canaveral this spring. This unique three-axis body-stabilized satellite will not spin in space as its predecessors did. This means the satellite sensors can stare continuously at the rapidly changing weather below. Launched on an Atlas Centaur rocket, GOES-J is the second of five next-generation GOES satellites that form an integral link in the modernization of the National Weather Service. GOES-I was launched in April 1994 and renamed GOES-8 after launch. Likewise, GOES-J will be renamed GOES-9 after launch. After instrument checkout, meteorologists will be able to incorporate GOES-8 and GOES-J one-mile resolution images with WSR-88D Doppler radar developing storm profiles. With these powerful tools and a new network of automated surface weather instruments called ASOS, forecasters will be able to pinpoint storm development on a large and small scale as never before. Here is a GOES-7 visible cloud image of Hurricane Andrew. Now compare it with GOES-8 imagery over the central United States. The 64 cloud shades of GOES-7 are replaced with an image that distinguishes over 1,000 shades of gray. Also, GOES-8 and GOES-J have a unique feature that allows them to zoom in on a weather hotspot like a strengthening thunderstorm, providing images every six minutes instead of every 30. But there is more here than meets the visible eye. An onboard infrared or heat detector called a sounder will penetrate vertically into the atmosphere, measuring the temperature and humidity at various altitudes. Another next generation GOES sensor monitors the storms on the sun's surface. These solar eruptions often travel through space and significantly affect electric power transmissions and communications on Earth. Atmospheric researchers also will use the new GOES data to better model the fluid motions of the Earth's ocean of air. Finally, the new GOES satellites will carry on the work of their predecessors GOES 1 through 7 by relaying search and rescue signals from downed aircraft and distressed ships at sea to rescue coordination centers. For every mile that GOES 8 and GOES J bring the weather forecast closer to the actual point of a hurricane's landfall, the public will save an estimated $1 million in evacuation and related costs. For the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, this is Alan Eustace.
support equipment problem. We've uh, pressed ahead fairly uneventfully. And as we've heard, the uh, weather is fully cooperative. We've got no range problems or tracking problems. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Main engine, main engines burning. Lift off of Atlas Centaur 73 with the goes on weather satellite. Roll program has started. Pitch program is in. Pressures look good. We have a smooth flight of the vehicle so far. You see the uh, burning or engines burning well, controlling the trajectory of the vehicle. Very smooth flight so far. 40 seconds into the flight. Engines look good. No problems. Smooth burn. 